Okay, now we'll discuss the hardware setup. Which, uh... Okay, here is the microcontroller board which is feeding into the prototyping board. This here is the D2A converter. This is the op amp circuit. This is the RC circuit which acts as the first order system. Okay, we are now going to do a demonstration uh, of the program. This is a listing of the program. Here's a statement k equal to 1 and this is where we can change the value of k. Right now set at 1. After that we have to do some assembler commands. There's a load command and a go command which needs to be done to start the program which I have already done. So this program is running and it now is creating uh, output on the scope which is fed from here which is the Y value is then fed to the scope and creates a picture on the scope. The scope is currently set at 0.5 volt per division and 10 millisecond per division. So this shows now that the rise time is 40 millisecond and the voltage is going from 0 to 0.5 volt which is not quite what we said earlier but this is what we are getting. Now we are going to do a demonstration of k equal to 4. Okay, now we have the k equal to 4 where I have changed the program. k has been set at 4 and this value will feed into this equation which is the heart of the system u equal k times r minus y where u is now playing the role of c instead of c we just have used the variable u. Okay, now we will look at the output y on the scope. As you can see, the scope has been set at same 0.5 volt per division, 10 millisecond per division. And the shape of the Y looks the same, but it's a faster rise time. This time it's rising from 0.5 volt to 2 volt. And so it's a larger rise in the same 40 milliseconds. Okay, so this means it's a faster wave. And then we will next look at C. Let's look at C. To do that I have to change the connection. C is available at the input of the op amp circuit which is the smaller chip and also at the output of the D2A converter which is the longer chip. And now we will look at C. C is a much larger uh, voltage and so for to see it properly I'm going to have to change the scale on the scope which I will now set at 5 volt per division. At this scale we can see that C varies between minus 6 volt to 10 volt. Okay, And you can see that the C is largest where R transitions and then decays towards 0 where R is flat. We change the resistance R in this segment. Uh, let's say, for example, we change R to 100K. Look at the time constant RC. When R was 1 megaohm, RC was 0.1 second. And if we reduce R to 100K, the time constant changes to 0.01 second. So the open loop system time constant is reduced and the speed would be 10 times as fast. Now we'll uh, see the demonstration of the change R value on the oscilloscope. Okay, we are going to change here. The resistor value has been changed to 100K. That's the resistor there. And we have to load the program. So we have loaded the program into the computer. And now we will look at the scope output, which is the Y value. The vertical scale has now been changed to 1 volt per division. So you can see that it's rising 0 to 2 volt. Also at 10 millisecond per division, you can see that the rise time has been reduced from 40 millisecond to about 5 millisecond. 
which shows that the response is a lot faster. The k value was still left at 4.